Hello there people, today I'm gonna show you how to find your perfect sensitivity. Keep in mind that this is just how I find my sense in FPS games, so let's cut through all the bullshit and let's get right into the video. Okay, so in FPS games such as Counter-Strike, 180s are very important. If you can 180 in the same way every time, you'll get used to your sense in no time. And in order to do this, you need your perfect sensitivity. Okay, so everyone is different from each other, everyone has a different way of flicking, aiming, etc. Because of this, everyone has a different sensitivity. Now, to find your perfect sensitivity, you have to choose a specific distance on your mouse pad. So, let's say that you want to flick from here to here. This has to be a comfortable distance for you guys to flick. Alright, so get into a specific map, it doesn't really matter which map, so just get into a random map and try flicking okay try getting a comfortable distance on your mouse pad but you have to move this exact distance every time so you will have to 180 with this distance every time so this can be from here to here this can be from here to here all right this depends all on you remember guys when flicking over this distance you will always have to be comfortable do not want to flick in any other way. Memorize the exact same you're flicking in order to get that sense into your head. Now, let's say for example that you want to flick from here to here. Okay, you see that I went over this mark, over the 180 mark. So what I have to do is I have to reduce my sense to let's say 1.7 and I do the exact same flick again and you see that it's spot on okay now same goes for if you want to flick a lower distance let's say that you want to flick from here to here and what you're gonna do is you're gonna increase your sense and you're gonna move the same this all depends on you now let's say that you have found your sense but it's just too slow or too fast now don't worry guys i have tips for that Let's say that your sense is too fast. Now, let's say that your perfect sense is 2.5 and you came to 2.5 from 1.5. All right, so it will come too fast. Now, what you want to do is you want to set a sense even higher than 2.5, let's say 3, and you want to flick around. You want to play for 5 to 10 minutes with this sense and then you just want to go down back to 2.5 and you will notice that it comes a lot slower than normal and you will get used to it in no time same goes for the opposite way let's say that you want to get used to sense 1.5 but you came from 4 now what you want to do is you want to set your sense on 1 for example it doesn't matter let's say that you set it on 1 you want to play like this for 5 to 10 minutes this can be very exhausting but it is worth it guys in the end i promise you that and after 5 10 minutes of playing you go to 1.5 and you will get used to it in no time since it's much faster than so basically the secret in perfecting your sense is in your 180s if you perfect your 180s in some way like in the way i told you for example You'll get used to your sense and the game mechanics in no time. Oh, and if you, for example, want to play more games than just Counter-Strike, this is also gonna be helpful to transmit your sensitivity in those other games. So, you're just gonna set your sensitivity in the same way as you did in Counter-Strike. You will flick as you did a 180 in Counter-Strike and you will just adjust your sense to that flick. So, you get into the game, you make 180s like you do in Counter-Strike, and you just adjust your sense the same way as you did in Counter-Strike. This is how I don't really have to get used to my sense in other games and play good right from the start. So that's pretty much it. I know the video is short, but it's easy to perfect your sense. You just have to play much after setting this 180 setup up and everything will come on its own. If you have any questions, ask them down below in the comment section and I'll help you out right away. You know, when, when it comes to these tutorials, I'll always be glad to help you guys out in the comment section and I'll be there for a while. So ask away. 
Thank you for watching guys. I hope that this video helped you out and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.